It was a joyous moment for Our Lady of Fatima sisters, just as they gathered to witness the perpetual profession of vows of three sisters and to celebrate the golden jubilee of Reverend Sister Mary Lucy Cudi. The ceremony which took place at Our Lady of Fatima Ecological Garden in Jos had priests, religious, lay faithful and family members in attendance. CTV's Walpi Ogak completes the report. Performing the rite of the final profession of vow of Elizabeth Ewachi, Doris Ebike, Christiana Ayok, and also the celebration of the Golden Jubilee of Reverend Sister Mary Lucy Kudi, Most Reverend Matthew Ishaya Audu call on family members and friends not to distract the sisters from their calling with financial and other excessive demand, saying that they are called to live a life of prayers and service to the Lord. Let us all positively help them as we come to fulfill their vow that they have made to God. All that they own to us is their prayers and services and nothing more. They do not have silver or gold. And as mentioned earlier, there are other things they could have been, but out of their free choice, they did not choose any of those things. Rather, they chose to become instruments of God. Please, parents, brothers, sisters, and all relations of other reverend sisters, do not induce them to give you more than their prayer and chaplet or say rosary for you. Speaking on behalf of the Superior General, Reverend Sister Rhoda Enan said the congregation is blessed with four golden jubilarians. She urged the younger girls to join the sisterhood. As a congregation, we have elders to look up to and take wisdom from. Today, we have three golden jubilarians. Sisters Martin the Porres Dame, Mary Patrick de Long, and Sister Mary Lucy Goody. May God keep them healthy and strong strong for us and in the light of this we encourage young girls who feel called and inspired by God to join the congregation to replace those of us who are aging and getting tired. Reverend Sister Mary Lucy Kudi expresses her joy and satisfaction as she celebrates her golden jubilee. Feeling too good and too fine and too uh, uh, exalted. <laughs> I'm ever excited with it. And it does come as if it is a dream like that. The first is that all people should listen to God to get his true call. Because a call is a beauty. If we miss it, we will have missed the dress and will be stranded at the at the front. Highlight of the events were the consecration of the newly professed sister, blessing of the ring, signing of register, thanksgiving, and a book launch. Walby Ogak reports from Joss.